martial artist. Don't lie to me, me. This thing stinks! Sonic, wake up! Uh, what'd you say, Sugar Plum? Don't call me Sugar Plum. I'm not Amy. What, Sticks? What are you doing? Unhand my face! You gotta come with me to the TV studio. There's a red-eyed prowler up to no good. But I was right in the middle of a really sweet dream. I was dancing with sugar plums. You know, when I say it out loud, I kind of regret having said it out loud. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> but I saw him with my own two eyes. I smelled him with my nose. I smorphed him with my sixth sense. I'm going back to bed. That's the trouble with being a paranoid cook, when something really is going on. No one believes you. You can say that again. I know, right? And you saw him at midnight, all by yourself, in the empty village center, while finger painting? It's called jujitsu realism, and it's the purest form for expressing the depths of my soul. Plus, I found 40 paint cans in my burrow and couldn't think of anything else to do with them. <sighs> <sighs> Tired, huh? Not me. I slept like a baby last night. No, really. An abandoned crib washed up on the beach. You know, Styx, sleep deprivation has been linked to an increase in delusional behavior. That can't be it. I never sleep. But I'm telling you, there was something fishy going on at that TV station, and I'm gonna prove it. <gasps> Hello, my sleepy friends. This is the Dreamcaster, and I'm gonna take you on a magical journey. All you have to do is follow my silky voice to the land of sugar plums, where you wanna go of your own free will, and not because you're hypnotized. Denizens of our village, you're all being brainwashed! Don't be fooled! A robot is controlling your thoughts! Wake up! Sheeple! Sheeple is a negative term. We prefer sheep villagers. I'm writing a letter to that network. Your minds are being taken over by the Dreamcaster. Oh, jeez. Sticks, what have you done now? I'm glad you're here. You guys ready to rage against the machine? You! You destroyed my studio, you wacky broad. And I lost the insurance payment in a poker game. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. There is. I had pocket deuces. Who doesn't go all in with pocket deuces? No, I meant a perfectly reasonable explanation for all of this. The studio was destroyed by a brainwashing robot trying to invade your dreams through the television. Well, I'm over for 2. Sticks, nobody's seen this robot but you. But he really exists. His name's Dreamcaster. Well, that's the worst name I've ever heard. It's not so bad. Yeah, the er at the end is kind of nice. Look, we all agree the name is terrible. But he's hypnotizing you with dreams of sugar plums. Why can't you get it through your dumb heads? As the proud owner of a dumb head, I don't like that you're talking down to me. And I don't care for your condescending altitude. Not sure if that was a clever pun or if you have no idea what you're saying. Why can't it be both? I can't believe you guys don't trust me. I thought you were my friends. Yeah! Oh! That's her, officer. The one who broke into my studio and went bananas! Uh... It wasn't me. It was Dreamcaster! If Comedy Chimp says it, it's gotta be true. After all, he is on TV. Oh, man, I'm glad you guys showed up to... Arrest me! That's not where I was going with that sentence. Sorry, Sticks. It's for your own good. Maybe a night in old Stony Lonesome will clear your head. You have all earned your sugar plums. This is so depressing. Even Melancholy Harmonica Music Volume 2 can't cheer me up. I can't believe my friends think I'm a wackading. What if my perception of reality really is distorted? 
Maybe this isn't my hand. Maybe it's my foot. Oh. <laughs> you fools! I finally have you all under my control. And all it took was the power of television and a charmingly hypnotic robot. I don't find him particularly charming. I don't like to brag. I love to brag! And using the television antenna to broadcast dream-controlling mind waves was a work of brag-worthy brilliance. It's a shame you're too humble to bring it up. The mind control began slowly, thanks to Dreamcaster's hypnotic commands. But it's now in full effect. Observe! Everyone, dance the dance of dreams. I knew it! I knew Dreamcaster was real! I guess my hand really is my hand. No! <laughs> oh! You weren't affected by Dreamcaster's control because you're the only one in town without a TV! What's wrong with you? What do you do on Saturday mornings? What are you talking about around the water cooler? I knew TV was just a big conspiracy to control everyone's minds! I'm not talking to you. You keep watching. A town full of sleepwalking minions is nice, but an entire planet full is better. Begin construction of the Super Slumber Satellite! <laughs> made of sugar and join us. Must fight delicious candy fruit things! Yeah! Wow, I never pegged her for the cowardly type. <laughs> Hypnotized minions, this is a glorious day for me. For you, not so much. My evil influence will no longer be limited to this small village, but will spread to small and mid-sized villages all over the planet. I just want to point out they're not applauding because they're zombies, not because they're unimpressed. Duly noted. When my plan is complete, Dreamcaster will broadcast worldwide, and I'll be unstoppable! <laughs> and it all begins with just a press of this button. And then a flick of this switch. Then I gotta enter my key code here. Scan my thumbprint. Swipe my ID badge. And finally! Not so fast, Deadman! Fast? What part of that process seemed fast to you? Curses! A tinfoil hat! The only surefire way to protect from mind control! No matter, I still have my unstoppable army of sleepwalkers. Zombies, attack! <laughs> Admittedly, not the most effective army, but still. in a mind-numbing stupor. I'm back to my regular stupor. Hey, hey, hey! Nah. You know, this whole experience has been a metaphor for my entire life. No longer will I be just another face in the crowd. I'm gonna turn my life around. Look out, world! Wildcats coming at ya! Sorry to interrupt your epiphany. Kinda need this to fight bad guys. <laughs> Time for bed! A 
And here's the lullaby. Pain! <laughs> Much for my mind control scheme. We don't mind if you control us. It's pretty clever, Orbot. When we get back to the lair, I'm removing that witch chip. Well, aren't you going to apologize? Apologize for what? We were under mind control. It wasn't us. It was Dreamcaster talking. Really? So you don't think I'm nuts? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. <clears throat>